morning everyone so in this video lecture we're going to talk about merging two dictionaries and first of all i will talk about what merging actually means and different ways of doing it so first of all let's see what merging is merging means that you are combining two dictionaries and when you combine two dictionaries, you are actually combining their elements. Okay. So for example, if let's suppose you have these two dictionaries where D is one, two, three, four, and D another dictionary, let's say A is five, six, seven, eight. When you combine them, the final output will be merging, meaning that you are merging these elements. So we will have elements from dictionary one and we will also have elements from dictionary two. Okay, so this is what is what merging is and to merge these two dictionaries, we are actually going to use a, a method and we call it update method. Now, as its name suggests, you can use it to uh, merge two dictionaries and you can also use it to update a dictionary. Okay. Uh, the parameters that it takes, it, uh, it takes are, uh, it takes um, iterables basically. So it can be um, a dictionary, right, itself, or it can be a few other values that you want to add in a dictionary. Okay, now I'm going to take three approaches here. So what we are going to do is, first we will merge dictionaries and we will also update one dictionary. Okay. Secondly, what we are going to do is we will merge and keep dictionaries intact. Okay. And third, I'll show you how you can update a dictionary. Just update. Okay. So let's start with the first one. So I'm going to take two dictionaries A and D and we will merge them and we will update one of the dictionaries. Okay. So how do we do that? So let's suppose I have one dictionary A where the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4 and obviously I'm taking these very simple elements. You can have as many elements of elements of different data types. Okay. And second dictionary B is 5, 6, 7, 8. Right. So we have these two dictionaries A and B. Now, what are we going to do is we are going to merge them and we are also going to update one of the dictionaries. So let's suppose that I want to uh, merge A and B and the final result should be reflected in A. So in a way, A will be updated with new values. Right. So how do we do that? The dictionary that I want to update or the resultant dictionary where I want the changes to be reflected, I'm going to take it on the left hand side and then we are going to call the method update and then I'm going to uh, update, I uh, use parameter uh, second dictionary. Second dictionary will be the parameter in update. Okay, so a dot update b. Now, if you check b, it is 5, 6, 7, 8. But if you check a, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So a has been updated and in a way, both dictionaries have been merged, right? But the final result was both dictionary, dictionaries were merged and the final result was stored in dictionary A. Now second, let's go to the second point. We are going to merge the dictionaries, but we are also going to keep them intact. So in this case, they are not intact. B is intact, but A was updated. Now what I want is I want to merge them. Okay, but they should be intact. So what I how can that be achieved? That, that can be achieved by merging them, but then storing the result in a different dictionary so that the merged dictionary is not one of these dictionaries, right? So um, I will again create these dictionaries. So A, I'm going to use the same values, 1, 2, 3, 4, because this is... 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the easiest way to do it. 
So what we are going to do now is we are going to merge them, but we are not going to update any of the dictionaries. So for that, I'm going to take another uh, element or another variable C. And if you remember in one of the previous videos, we talked about shallow copy and deep copy. So here I'm going to use copy uh, method. So I'm taking another variable C and I'm going to copy one of the dictionaries in C. So let's start with A only, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go A dot copy. Okay, so all the elements of A will be copied in C. Now we want to merge these two dictionaries. It means I want to merge elements of A with elements of B. But now elements of A are also in elements of elements of A are also elements of C now. Okay, not like they are referring to the same um, location in the memory. But in a way, C we copied A to C, right? So if I merge C and B, it's sort of merging these values with these values and that's that what we want we want to merge these two values so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to like in the previous example we we were a dot we did a dot update b now we're gonna do c dot update b because i want that final changes will be reflected in c and not in a okay so c will be the merged one merged dictionary Okay, the final one, final dictionary with the combined values and A and B are intact.